you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morph when it morph, I made a fake one. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, Braz Dan Brosnan, in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. We appreciate you guys. If you like this content, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's get into it, guys. We're going to be talking about Power Rangers Dino Fury Episode 9. All right, so we've gone over to the Wikipedia, or we go over to the wikipedia and there's not much we don't have a name we don't have much on it but check this out guys so we have a different director the directing so far has been charlie haskell chris graham and, and michael hurst right in the netflix episode first one we we've got a female woman named named Carolyn Bell Booth and the story by Mike Hauser, Becca James and Alwyn Dale. Now Becca, or I'm sorry, Becca Barnes. I can't read guys. Mike Hauser, Becca Barnes and Alwyn Dale. Now Alwyn Dale and Becca Barnes have pretty much done the stories for a lot of these, but Mike Hauser is a new name in here. So we wanted to you know do do our research and figure out who are these people so let's go on, on over to our good friend google and let's see what we can find all right so we typed it in on google and one of the first things that came up is caroline bell booth joins michael hurst and chris graham as a new director for the power rangers television series she'll be directing the six block of episodes in the 28th season Blocks are typically about three episodes, so she may be working on more than one episode of Power Rangers Dino Fury. She has directed episodes of Home Away, Shortland Street, 800 Words, and West Side. Okay, well, th this is cool. I, I appreciate this. We're, we're going to give her a chance. And this is also cool because this is the first real Netflix debut for a new Power Rangers thing. I won't even say like show because the show's already been out, but these are new episodes on Netflix and maybe they knew it was going to happen. Maybe they were like, you know, one through eight, we got to live up to the Nickelodeon code. Once we get to episode nine, now we're going to switch up the director and see what we can do on Netflix. I love it. There's not a lot of meat on, on the bones here yet for this episode. We don't have a name. We don't have a description, but we do have the director and the story. So I, I mean, I, I think it's going to be cool. Like the writers and the director can tell us a lot about if they're going to be good. She has some experience. I think she's going to do a good job. I have hope. But I am saying this again, isn't it kind of cool how they changed the director right before the Netflix switch, you know, like they had this, like they had this all planned out. They manifested this. They made sure that they, they did their Nickelodeon thing for eight episodes. Maybe we'll get something cool. Maybe we'll be a little bit more edgier. We don't know. What are you guys expecting in episode nine? Let's talk about it. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in every day. Appreciate you guys. Check us out on all social media platforms, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. If you guys support the fan club, you want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running, well check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.